An overarching challenge for health system decision makers is how to best integrate clinical practice guidelines throughout the healthcare system. A number of Canadian organizations have been recognized for their approaches to developing and using CPGs to improve quality of care. The Canadian Task Force on Preventive Health Care is one group that has an international reputation for developing high-quality CPGs. In the world today, there are hundreds and hundreds of guidelines. And physicians who are in primary care who have very limited time to read the evidence and still keep time for their patients need to have a trusted set of guidelines where they can go to. And that's really the role of the Canadian Task Force is to summarize all the other evidence that's out there and guidelines and provide a concise set of recommendations for primary care. The recommendations focus on practical guidance to support primary care providers in the delivery of preventive health care for areas like cancer and obesity. So the guidelines from the Canadian Task Force undergo a very rigorous development process. We start with an extensive scoping process to understand what this topic's all about. We then move into a stage of systematic review where the evidence is very carefully reviewed and summarized. That evidence then goes back to the task force group and we spend a great deal of time reviewing it, understanding it, looking at nuances in the different studies that are presented to really understand how strong is this evidence, how sure are we that we can make recommendations in one direction or the other. So through this entire process, it's a constant you know, review feedback system so that by the end we're pretty confident that we've addressed all major issues and have a set of guidelines that our family doctors will feel comfortable using to inform their practice. The Canadian Stroke Strategy is an example of how CPGs can be successfully implemented at the national level. The Canadian Stroke Strategy has really been a movement over the last um, seven years to take the best of all provinces in terms of quality stroke care delivery and bring it together into one national, um, trusted, reliable package. The goal was to harmonize the number of different guidelines being used for stroke care across the country into a standard set of guidelines. Within each province, we've identified leads for stroke. We've also then teamed them up with the researchers and the, the champions at the clinician level, nurses, physicians, occupational therapists, physiotherapists, and together we've been able to build teams within each province who really become the champions, the advocates, the lobbyists, and have moved the stroke strategy and stroke care by major leaps and bounds within each province. An important part of the Canadian stroke strategy is to assess the quality of stroke care across Canada and identify gaps through national level performance indicators. We were one of the first in the world to not only tell you what you should do in terms of the recommendations, but we also incorporated performance measures right into every recommendation. So for everything we suggest that you should be doing, we also provide a way to monitor and how to monitor whether you are doing it and to what extent. We've then, on a national level, conducted national stroke audit of over 10,000 charts across the country to really examine the quality of care. A provincial success story comes from Ontario's Provincial Cancer Agency. Cancer Care Ontario has a system in place that integrates CPGs across the continuum of care to drive quality improvement. Their mandate is to oversee cancer services in the province of Ontario. Cancer Care Ontario established the program in evidence-based care to provide an ongoing infrastructure for the development of high-quality evidence-based guidelines. Cancer Care Ontario links CPGs with a strong performance measurement and management system that involves active participation of cancer care providers and regional leaders from across the province. Clinical practice guidelines are really important tools in driving best practice, but on their own, they probably have limited value in making change. They need to be incorporated in a broader performance improvement program. So that's why we've, at Cancer Care Ontario, incorporated performance data to show people where they are today. We provide current performance data to all of our providers, which are really 14 regional cancer programs. We show them what best practice looks like in the form of clinical practice guidelines or organizational standards. And we work with them to drive their care more in accordance with best practice. 
Another example of a leading set of CPGs comes from the Registered Nurses Association of Ontario, the RNAO. Our clinical best practice guidelines are robust, and by that I mean that the, the process to develop the guidelines is a very rigorous and precise process. We scope the topic in a very clear way. And what that means is that you can produce guidelines that are very precise on the actions that nurses and others need to take to produce best results. The RNAO has created a program where a healthcare organization applies to become a best practice spotlight organization. Once accepted, the RNAO helps them implement best practice guidelines through training and ongoing support. The success of the best practice spotlights organization is beyond imagination. The tremendous uh, commitment a rigor by which organizations implement the guidelines, sustainability of the guidelines that they originally implemented, as well as spread the new guidelines that they have taken as we develop new guidelines, has been simply fabulous. These four examples represent successful efforts to develop or integrate CPGs within our healthcare system. But there are many other efforts across the country that should also be shared. The Health Council encourages those with success stories related to CPGs to share them with us. To learn more about the Health Council of Canada's video series on CPGs, visit healthcouncilcanada.ca/cpg.